Well, as some of you know, I've been working on a little camper trailer project for camping and we're going away in Easter and I've just finished wrapping it all up today to a point we can use it. So let's have a look at what I've done. So recently, the wife and I decided to sell the camper trailer and then get ourselves an enclosed box trailer. However, I bought one of the most ugliest box trailers you could find. Check it out. This is what I started with. It was rusty. It was used as an old landscaping trailer, had so many holes you could poke a stick at, and it needed a good clean world and a paint. Check it out. What do you reckon that? Anyway, the roof needed a lot of work, had a big hole in the top, closed all that up. The sides all needed painting and cleaning. And while I was building the outside, I started fitting out the inside, working out where the sink would go, the camp fridge, access for the slide so you can get access to the fridge, a panel for where the water tank will go so you can get access to all the pipes and plumbing, and pretty much just the layout of the bench. Started adding walls with storage components. Yep, I'm a good cutter. More walls for the back of the storage. Working out where I was going to put the plates and the cups. Adding some drawers for the cutlery and storage of other items. And then once I finished working out where everything would go, I painted the entire camper trailer, rewired on brand new lights and got it all ready to fit it out. I added a rear awning for shade over the tailgate. It's just a ridge wider one from super cheap. On the front of the trailer, I just added a little toolbox for storage of ropes and tent pegs and access to Anderson for the front. When I was designing this, I wanted to make sure I have access to two sides of the trailer. Here's the fridge slide, you can slide it in and out. Access the fridge. Storage pockets, not sure what I'm going to put in there. Here's the pantry storage for all your food items. Let's have a look at the rear of the kitchen. This, I wanted to make sure there's plenty of storage to be able to have a good, usable kitchen similar to home. The whole idea of this trailer was to have an area that you could just open up and it was all usable. Here's the cup storage on hooks the kids can access. Wire baskets for food storage and cutlery rack for knives. We've got two big storage drawers underneath the camper. Above that is a cutlery drawer and next to that is my power panel and a place to store soaps and detergents. Stuff for cleaning up. Here's the cutlery drawer, slides out with everything you need with knives and forks and stuff for cooking and eating food. A working sink hooked up to a water tank under the camper, which drains out into a bucket. Storage for plates and bowls, accessible by the kids. And in the roof I have lights which has a light switch on the wall that you can turn on and off. Also on that pole is some hooks above for hanging things on. All right, the last part of the camper is the storage side of the camper trailer where you can store everything you need for camping and also access the rear of the fridge. You can see on the fridge, I have a cable track to help when you pull the fridge in and out, stop it from getting caught with the wires and other storage and it's all carpeted as well. And light in the roof which is individually controlled for light at night time when looking for stuff. Well there's the camper. I know it's not perfect but it's going to be perfect for us when we go camping and we just use swags and a gazebo and it's just going to be simple and easy. Anyway guys what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Anyway keep cooking. I'm Mick the Camp Oven Cook.